Hey everyone, this is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, Ottawa, Canada right now is freezing. We're in a, a cold week here. On Thursday, it's going to be minus 21 or something like that, 21, 25, and that's Celsius. Then on Friday, it's 31 Celsius and through the night too. So Saturday morning is going to be chilly. It's going to be cold here. I just want to let you know that if you're in the warm southern states in Canada, you're lucky. If you're in Cuba or in the holidays, you're lucky. You really are. To hear it's cold, it really is. That's not what this video is about. This video is about how do you know when your liver is struggling because of your drinking? Direct result from your drinking. How do you, how do you know that? And the reason I'm talking about this is because liver failure or liver damage in alcohol while you're in, you know, you suffer from alcoholism, active alcoholism is really common. It really is, especially with people who drink large sums of alcohol for a very long time. The toxins in the alcohol, the impurities attack the liver, which are filtration plant of our body, right? It filters all, all the, the bad stuff out for it doesn't get inside us really attacks the liver and it damages the liver. And what it does basically is start scarring the liver, breaking down the liver. And over time, you may not have liver function. You might have to get a replacement liver, uh, liver transplant. I don't know, the result can be very doom and gloom at the end. A friend of mine had it and he never came out of it and he ended up passing away many years ago. I know other people have had it and uh, liver failure, liver, liver complications due to alcohol and they've come back. So it's not life threatening at the beginning, but if we don't stop drinking, liver damage is permanent and it's life threatening. It really, really is. The poor liver takes a lot of law that pounding because of our alcoholism. And the more we drink, the more it takes, the more pounding it takes, okay? The first one that I wanna talk about that you may feel symptoms of from liver failure is fatigue. You might feel extremely tired, hard to get out of bed, hard to walk around, just tired for no reason. And that can be fatigue of the li coming from liver failure. Your liver is struggling to produce the good stuff for your body, it's struggling and it makes us tired. Scientists or doctors really don't know why, why 100% to find why people feel fatigue with liver failure. They don't really know why, but they know a lot of people who suffer from it just have it. They have fatigue and they feel tired and sluggish a lot. Another one is nauseaness. You might feel like you're going to be sick and that feeling may stay with you for a while, may come and go, but it may, it's going to be there. And the reason that is, is because your liver is not purifying all the stuff that's going into it. You know, the alcohol or whatever you're drinking or whatever. And what it is, it's getting into the bloodstream. And because it's getting into the bloodstream, it's signaling the body to throw up. And that those toxins can do that. And so that's another, that's a big one. If you're not drinking, if you're not drinking and you're feeling sick and you're feeling nauseous for a day or a couple days, that could be a sign that you are, your, your liver is struggling. And I'd go and see a doctor. I really, I really would. I'd go and see a doctor. Another one is, is that your skin may look yellow. You may like jaundice. You've heard that before, right? Jaundice, your eyes, your eyes may uh, look yellow because of the jaundice. And the reason for that is again, stuff gets in the, like a bio or whatever gets into the bloodstream. And this, this stuff that's coming from the liver, I'm not a doctor, so don't take me as a doctor, gets into the bloodstream and it gives the blood a yellow tint, believe it or not. And that yellow tint makes you look yellow because again, the liver is signs that the liver is struggling. It's having difficulties. It really is having difficulties. This is a big one, okay? It's not really, it's, it's a pretty big one. They're, they're all big. If you're having symptoms, you have two or three of these symptoms, I'd go and see a doctor. I really would. Another one is uh, you have um, abdomen pain, you have pain in your abdomen. And what this is, is fluid buildup. You're having buildup of fluids in your, in, your, in your body. It may affect your legs. You may have 
trouble in your legs and you may have trouble in your sides in pain to the touch. A uh, one symptom that you should really keep an eye on is when you go poo poo, that your poop is not pale, like beige color. This is a, re this is a direct result of liver failure. And you're getting to the critical point of you know, losing your liver or having really, really catastrophic health issues when it comes to your liver. Pale poop is is big it's big it really is and what it is is that your liver is not producing the bio salts that make your poop brown it's not producing that so that's that's you're at the critical stage and if it's like that go and see your doctor right away because that is that is you've reached sort of a, a turning point there so make sure you go and see your doctor i'm not trying to scare you I'm just trying to let you know that these are some of the signs. The last one I want to talk about is your urine. And when you go take a pee, and if your urine is very, very yellow, like dark yellow, like, like dark, we know what that's like, right? Is that it's another sign that your liver is struggling. And go and see a doctor, really. I'm telling you, go and see a doctor. Do not watch even the rest of this video. Go and see a doctor. We all know when our urine's healthy, right? We have different tones of yellow. And if you're drinking a lot of water and you're well hydrated, your urine is pretty well clear, like water. So if it's dark yellow, please go and see a doctor. If your poo is pale, go, okay? And if you have experienced any of these symptoms in this video, make sure that you are aware that that is a direct result from alcoholism, if you're drinking a lot, okay? If you're not a big drinker, it's probably not that. But if you're a big drinker and you're drinking tons of booze, it's probably because of that. And most of these symptoms are reversible if they're caught on time, if they're redirected and you have a healthier lifestyle, stop the drinking, start having a healthier lifestyle, you can reverse these symptoms very, very easy, especially if you're young. If you're older, it's a little harder. It's harder when you get older for everything to heal, but just to let you know that, okay? I like to finish off by saying, don't take advice from any videos or people who think they're doctors on YouTube. This video is because I've seen it, I know about it, I'm an alcoholic, and this channel is about awareness, but this channel is not a diagnosis of any sort of cirrhosis to the liver or any type of medical problem. It's for entertainment purposes and to build awareness about your drinking and to help me stay sober one day at a time build, doing these videos. It really helps me a lot, okay? So I hope I was helpful. If I am, leave a comment below. If I'm not, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Hit that like button, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're going to live sober one day at a time, one day at a time. Just remember, stay safe, stay sober, and there's no I in team. Build a great support network around you. Communicate, go to meetings, do everything you can to stay sober, and the miracle is just around the corner, okay? Ciao for now. God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.